Just hours ago, critics of a new Illinois law that bans semi-automatic weapons went to court. Hundreds of them asked a judge at an emergency hearing to issue a temporary restraining order. Good evening, I'm Mike Bush, Ann Allred has the night off. The law has been in effect for just eight days and it's already facing a legal challenge. Our Justino Coronel is back from Effingham where today's court hearing took place. Justina. Yeah, Mike, so I'm told there are 866 plaintiffs on this lawsuit. And if the judge grants the TRO, those plaintiffs can resume selling the banned guns until further hearings. The Second Amendment is under assault. People in Illinois are fed up. Rainy day matches the mood for those against an Illinois law banning semi-automatic weapons. Wednesday morning, a judge in Effingham County heard a state lawsuit seeking a temporary restraining order. Attorney Thomas DeVore, a former Illinois attorney general candidate, argued four different reasons why he believes the law is unconstitutional. Which one sticks out the most in the short term is probably the equal protection argument. DeVore believes the law exempts certain people based on employment. My client's individual rights to bear arms are no different than a man or a woman that happens to work work in the prison system or works in armed forces. The law bans dozens of specific types of handguns, magazines and accessories. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker speaking Wednesday in Switzerland dismissed the legal challenge. We're not taking anybody's guns away. By the way, no guns are being confiscated under this law. We are stopping the sale uh, and uh, you know, future acquisition of these kinds of weapons. One of the plaintiffs challenging the law is Accuracy Firearms in Effingham. Panning through the room, you can see several open spaces where some of the now banned firearms have been removed. There's no doubt that it's going to put people out of business. Representatives for the Attorney General's office said Wednesday in court that the law should stand because the plaintiffs failed to present evidence of how much money they would lose and they can't prove irreparable harm. The case now is in the hands of a judge and both sides will wait for the court's decision. And we'll let the courts play it out. Now the judge said he'll be in court all day today and tomorrow and he'd be back with a decision by the end of the day on Friday.